When you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. Do you have a system in place to encourage your best clients to get out there and post ratings and reviews about your business? This one is just so critical for, for any kind of professional, certainly for many small businesses. Restaurants are, are ahead of the curve here because this right. has been happening to them for a long time, but it's really happening to now medical doctors and lots of other specialists. There are so many review sites out there. And right now, if you Google your name, if you're not doing what this question is asking here, odds are you're going to find page after page of your information or bits and pieces of your information with empty reviews, empty ratings, you know, no stars. Well, that is just an invitation to disaster, oh, right? So really tough. You know. Yeah, it's really tough because somebody now goes and leaves a review on one of those and it's been empty till now. That's going to then push that one up and it's going to go higher in those search ratings, search, search results, and there's a negative one about you. And you know, it's people seem to be much more inclined to put the negative. Think about it yourself. It's You're really nature. ticked off at somebody. Human nature says the psychologist, right? So they put the negative out there. So you need a program that's going to be built in there to encourage your customers, clients, and patients to put out good reviews about you. And we can certainly talk about exactly. that at some point, and, and, but it's I important mean, to you. What's the best defense against a negative review? Well, the best defense against a negative review, review is 10 positive reviews. And as Charlie was saying, I mean, obviously, if I've had a great meal, I'm already happy. I'm satisfied. I don't have as much motivation to go on to Yelp and rate that restaurant. If I've had terrible service, I'm looking for a place to vent. And so it's a, it's a new way of thinking for many professionals. I mean, certainly as a psychologist, medical doctors, I mean, you know, there's a little bit of discomfort about how do I do this and still feel like I'm right. doing the, the right thing ethically. But we've got to figure the answers to that and we have ways of doing that. But you've got to be incentivizing your best clients, your best patients, your best customers to go out there and post those reviews for you. It's a big p a component of your marketing and it's a big p component of your, your reputation defense. And you can see why we're asked that question over and over again. So we're glad that we had a chance to answer it here. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample, and we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com. Thank you.